Saturday morning and I'm doing what I normally would do, which is very frugal, and I have my coffee at home. And also Tom has very kindly um, decided to take Lottie, uh, my goddaughter, and Rocco, uh, who are best friends, to the stable so they can go and see the horses. So I have like 40 minutes to myself, which is absolute heaven. I'm gonna tidy up the house and uh, just clear a few emails. Okay, so this little tip isn't actually frugal, but it's probably more about zero waste and a bit of animal love. So I do this with um, cream containers and milk containers and like yoga containers, but I let the dogs, when I finish with them, um, I cut them open and let them um, lick inside so that I don't need to waste water cleaning them before I put them in the recycling bin. So here you go, Sophia. And Giuseppe is very excited because he knows exactly what's coming. But zero waste, pretty cool. On my way home, I stopped into the King's Cross Markets. I spent a total of $32, and, but I got quite a lot of great stuff. I got two bunches of beautiful David Austin roses for my home. Um, I bought these fantastic gluten-free pizza bases, which I can keep in my freezer for those days where I'm tired and get tempted to order like home delivery or takeaway. And this is a great way because of getting a lot of vegetables into Rocco because he can cook his own dinner and we can come up with as many creative um, vegetables to put on top and make it nice and colorful. Um, this was the only zero waste thing that I didn't do. Um, I got four nectarines for $2. I'm just gonna see if I can return that plastic container next week. And I also bought five avocados for $5 and then I got a couple of um, uh, three pink lady apples for Rocco for school next week. So all helpful things, um, saving money, but also supporting small business. Because remember I said, this is not about zero spend. This is about shopping ethically and mindfully considering the environment and mental and emotional well-being. <laughs> so after swimming lessons, we came home and made two homemade pizzas. We used up all the vegetables that were left over from the fridge during the week. And they were absolutely delicious. I actually feel a bit sick because we ate so much. And Giuseppe and Sophia are patiently waiting over there to hopefully get the last pieces and the crust. Now, we've also just been chilling out on the sofa watching Lava Party. And Lava it's been Island. Lava Island. It's been a pretty quiet weekend, pretty frugal. And tomorrow, um, we're going to maybe do some cooking and planning for food for next week, particularly your lunchbox. We're going to make muffins. So it is Saturday night and Rocco is spending the night with his dad. Um, Tom is at one of our local pubs and he said, come and meet us for a drink. So being frugal February, I am driving and um, I actually made sure I had a... Um, a massive snack before I left so I don't get tempted to order a meal there. So um, hopefully I'll be drinking water so it's going to be a really frugal evening for me. No cabs, no Ubers, no alcohol um, and hopefully no food. So we also no hangover. I'll be in bed nice and early tonight. Very successful frugal day. Just so you know, I have parked miles away so I didn't have to pay for a parking meter. And I'm in really high heels, so I've got a bit of a, bit of a walk to do. But I'm focusing on the blessing and the opportunity and the gratitude that comes from this. And I've realized I really stuffed my face before leaving the house. So at least the walk will do me some good and maybe burn some of the calories that I just consumed. So all a good thing. So Tom has sprung a lunch that we have to go to. And it's with his clients who have become really good friends of ours. Um, they chose and booked the restaurant and it is a really expensive restaurant. The sort of restaurant that you only go to for very special occasions. Now I said to Tom, I'm doing Frugal February, this isn't fair. And he said, he's, he hates when I do Frugal February. He finds it so restrictive and annoying and he just sort of got irritated at me. And I said, look, why don't we go to another restaurant? But everyone had insisted that we go to this restaurant. So... <laughs> I didn't stand a chance with that. And I even said to Tom, maybe I just don't go to this because I think it's wrong. I'm really, I'm really adamant about doing this properly. So um, we've come to a really good compromise. Um, I'm driving and I've offered to pick my friends up so they don't have to waste money on an Uber or in a cab. And also um, Tom has promised me that after this lunch, he will start frugal February with me. So that is a massive um, leap for Tom because normally he thinks, he, he laughs at me about doing frugal February, but he's agreed he's completely on board and he'll do it um, as soon as this lunch is over. But it is technically a work lunch 
and I'm trying to focus. This is where I normally get really angry at myself, but I've come back to that rule of being grateful. And I'm thinking, how lucky are we to go to lunch and have the opportunity to go for lunch? But also, how lucky are we that um, some of Tom's clients have become such amazing and good friends of ours that we absolutely love hanging out with. So it kind of helped me help me make peace with this lunch. So I better run because we're running late as per usual. But yeah, just being completely transparent with you. So in the attempt to save some money and acknowledging my love and appreciation of muffins, particularly berry flavored muffins, I thought it'd be a really cool idea for Rocco and I to make some sugar-free berry muffins. Now, this is what they turned out like. And they actually taste worse than they look. Now, the old canner would be really disheartened um, and go and justify buying a nice, big, fluffy, fresh um, uh, muffin from my local cafe, but no. We focus towards on the gratitude and appreciation, being grateful that I had a go. And I'm actually going to go to bed right now and look up different recipes to try and master the art of making um, sugar-free berry muffins. So if anyone has any suggestions, please put them in the comment box below. Because I really want to nail my muffins. I think I could save a lot of money. It'd be nice to take some muffins to the office tomorrow as well. All right, first day of school. And I'm actually, I can proudly say I'm organized. Rocco has in his monkey um, lunch pack, he's got um, chopped up fruit, of course with the skin off, because um, he's fussy, for uh, morning tea. He's got a chicken and avocado and lettuce and mayonnaise sandwich. He's got some sultanas and apples, and he's got um, a yogurt as well for afternoon tea. Now, I've realized that we spend so much money on yogurt, so tonight I'm gonna have a look at learning how to make a um, make homemade yogurt in my Thermomix. I've also got my lunch sorted. I'm actually having one of these Odyssey Lean um, Nourishing Green Pea Soup, which is so delicious. It's, I think one of my favorites. And then I've also got three, oh gosh, uh, three pieces of fruit if I don't bruise it before I get a chance to eat it. And I've even made Tom's lunch. He's got also a chicken and avocado lettuce and mayonnaise sandwich. He's also got one of the Odyssey Lean, um, he's got sat chicken satay, because he's trying to really sort of eat a lot healthier and bulk up a bit because he doesn't really eat much. And he's also got chopped up fruit as well, but with the skin on. So I'm doing all right this morning. I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel very organized and very calm. So Rocco's first day at school was a great success. He ate pretty much all his lunch. Um, and I'm now cooking dinner for everyone. So I'm actually gonna skip dinner tonight because I feel like throwing up. But um, I, we're eating up all the bits still. I've used, used, I'm getting stuff out of the freezer that I've been stockpiling. Um, vegetables just thrown into the oven, just made a fresh salad. And um, whilst I don't feel like eating dinner tonight, I prepared my um, lunch to take to work tomorrow. And I'm also putting together Rocco's lunch, which is again focusing on zero waste, um, chopped uh, carrots, trying not to use bladder up an aluminium foil. Um, a baby cheese, some just big crackers. I find that when you buy cheese and crackers together, it's really expensive and it's excessive packaging. Um, and yogurt pack, I still need to make learn how to make yogurt. One thing I realised is um, we waste so much food that goes off. And like I know this probably doesn't look that bad, but it feels disgusting and soggy and sloppy. So I really want to try and stop this food wastage as part of Triple February. And that will be one of the things I continue to take forward the rest of my life. But yeah, so far so good and I didn't spend any money today. So that's another $20 I can put towards the $1,000 project account. Yeah. All right, this morning I feel horrendous. I was up all night with just nauseousness. I couldn't sleep. Um, I felt like I was gonna throw up, but I couldn't. It was just gross. So I don't feel my greatest today. Um, I am actually wearing a zero waste t-shirt. I bought this from the Salvation Army in Tempe and I love it. It's a bit crumpled because I don't have the energy to iron it this morning. And I'm also out of coffee pods this morning and I need a coffee, I need an espresso to wake me up. So I'm going to meet a girlfriend for a very quick coffee before school with her kids to try and like snap myself out of this because I feel horrendous. And I think coffee might actually just help like me push through this nauseousness so I can get some work done for today. 
But on a frugal note, despite getting a coffee today, I have packed my lunch. I did also packed my lunch yesterday, so I saved money. I'm pretty sure I'll save money today. And I also made Tom's lunch as well, so he's saving money because he's on board with Frugal February now. And um, yeah, all got fingers crossed. So far, so good. And I haven't had any like anger or resentment or complaining um, to myself about Frugal February. Looking good. So I discovered that kids have these really cool key rings hanging off their backpacks. I had no idea about this um, trend and I felt bad because Rocco didn't have anything at all. So we agreed that Rocco should get one key ring today to celebrate his first week of school. And if he wants more key rings, he has to pay for them himself with his own pocket money, which he's saved up. Um, I went and bought dinner and I managed to get dinner for under $10. And I was literally walking down the street feeling really proud about being so frugal yesterday, being so frugal today with lunch money, taking my lunch to work, just not spending anything. And I then, literally as I'm thinking that and feeling proud about myself, I bump into a little old lady in the street who asks me if I could buy her dinner tonight. And she said, all I want is a chicken and some avocado. So I just spent $18 on a chicken and avocado salad for her, which was conveniently um, the chicken shop that's next door to where she was standing. So I have actually blown $18 of tomorrow's budget so I have to be frugal tomorrow but on the upside because this is a fresh kind of a fresh approach to frugal February I'm going to be grateful for the fact I can help someone and um, proud of the fact that I was able to set a good example for Rocco in helping other people in the community. Our first kid frugal February challenge. He said he's done something um, to his kid. Uh, Tom thinks he's done his cruise ship and he said that's going to be really expensive um, surgery for the Seppi. So we're off to see a specialist uh, today, which is going to be expensive. But fortunately, I do have pet insurance and I was only checking the policy details about a month ago. So I'm hoping a lot of this is going to be covered. But this is why we have emergency money. So I'm just going to focus on the fact that it's you know, hopefully fixable, maybe surgery and some medication for pain relief and um, hopefully.